Okay, so it's 10 a.m. Um, I've been up for a while, but like I woke up in a good mood, and then all of a sudden, as I started to like do some exercise stuff and whatever, I was just flooded with all this like negativity and all these bad thoughts, and started to get into my head. But then once I looked at my planner, because I hit up my cousin who lives out here, because um, I just need some family right now. So once I looked at my planner, then I realized, oh my gosh, I have uh, the walkthrough for my event tonight. Um, so that kind of pulled me together and made me compose myself and start focusing on the things I need to get done today instead of dwelling on all the things that I can't do today. <sighs> um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to use the footage that I get tonight of the walkthrough for my Kickstarter. I think I'm going to change everything around after really thinking about it. Um, do more of a short-term goal, and then if I make this short-term goal, then I'll go for like the long-term thing later that way. Um, I can still get better with crowdfunding. So I'm just going to try and do my Kickstarter crowdfunding for this event. Um, so that way it's like a shorter time frame. I can ask for much less in support. And then that way I can like get a backing going for the big thing that will help ease the anxiety I feel about like needing to get this done. Or if I don't get this done, then it's like, there's no other options. So at least it kind of takes the pressure off of that. <laughs> okay. And I'm also still really, um, self-conscious about taking these outdoor pictures, mostly because like, I'll be alone. Like, the whole recording myself in public or taking pictures of myself in public has just always made me feel weird, so I don't do it. But, obviously, in order to be a vlogger, you need to just get comfortable with pulling out your camera anywhere in front of anybody. So, I figure if I hustle through all the other things I need to do and then save the picture stuff for last and then, you know, and then I have the walkthrough to do, that will be better. So, I'm just going to focus on doing all these product descriptions for my new store that's going to be on my website. I think I said that better today than than yesterday. And so yeah, if I really work on those product descriptions, I'm looking at my whiteboard again. <laughs> um, and do a little, uh, more content, more content creation. Um, I'm also pre-planned some things. So if I finish my equity product descriptions, and take more pictures and it, it will totally be fine. It'll be okay. Okay, I can, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. So, I am super stressed out right now. Um, that's also another reason why I've been breaking out a lot is because I'm just really stressed out with this event I have coming up. I had like four networking events uh, all set up like last week and a half and I just like dropped the ball with all of them. The first one could have sworn it was on one day, but it was actually like a day before, so I totally somehow missed it, which makes no sense because they even got confirmation emails. And then there was this um, really big networking event for Monet, which is a really awesome luxury hair care company. They just released a skincare line, but anyways, so they have their event for the people that sell with them, like market partners and all that. Um, and Columbus, it's like a four or five day thing. I knew about this for months. I had my ticket. I've had my ticket for at least like two months, I believe. And then I just like got all, started to get all down out for missing that one event and then made some really fucked up financial decision that ended up like I got into investing Bitcoin and stocks and bonds. Well, I screwed up and did some stuff on the weekend. And so then I had the money that I had set aside that like was all the money that I had at the point in time um, that's like, that was spending money that's not in stocks and bonds and all that stuff. So spending money I had for money, I ended up getting stuck into a, a, um, a Bitcoin wallet. It's like pending for nine business days. So Monations was last week. It was a week ago. So I miss all of it because like the day before, I accidentally made a stupid financial move and got my money caught in a Bitcoin wallet. <laughs> so I went the first day for registration. Like I tried just to muscle through it. I was like, okay, I got like 
like $100 cash. Let me see if I can make it through these four days with $100 cash. And then all of a sudden, like with parking, I, I forgot about like parking in the city and everything. It had been coins with me to do the metered stuff, whatever. So I did like garage parking and all this other stuff. And all of a sudden, just like, just by, even by the, by the end of the first day, I started to count it. I was like, dude, if, like, I can't. I can't go to the show without that money that I accidentally got trapped in a Bitcoin wallet. So anyways, where am I going with this right now? I'm getting ready to do a walkthrough event or a walkthrough at the venue for the event I'm doing on the 26th, like really big one, the one that I'm super excited for. But then now I have all this like stress and anxiety. Um, oh, yeah, I also missed <laughs> softer monations there's kind of like during monations there's like a sin city there's a burlesque show that i wanted to go to to promote for my show and then there was another thing i wanted to help out other people with because you know that's like you don't always just want to be self-centered like trying to serve yourself and promote promote yourself you want to always help others so i wanted to go help out with this other event and that didn't work through so now i'm just all in my head all in my feelings super like i can't even stay still i'm just moving around <laughs> um trying to get through this really, really stressful moment where I feel really self-conscious and I just want to put on makeup and head out the door and whatever, but like I just keep crying and rubbing my eyes. <sighs> so this is part of the journey that I want to do with, with my Kickstarter project um, is to show how these stressful moments and these moments where you want to do creative stuff or you just want to follow your dreams and you hit that like brick wall of just shit after shit after shit like how do you keep going how do you use that stress anxiety and that hurt and that pain and push it into something that's like beautiful you know how to how do you make that rose grow out of concrete <laughs> so yeah i should have probably been on the road by now but instead i'm crying making this video and um i'm gonna get myself together and hop in that car and go to this walkthrough at the venue. Because <sighs> this is everything I've ever wanted. And I'm 28 years old and it's kind of like it's time. <laughs> it's time. Okay. So I managed to kind of pull myself together. Throw on some makeup to hide the fact that I've been crying even though my eyes are really red. Whatever. Um, so yeah, it's 6.25. I have to be there at 7.00. I probably should have left like 10, 15 minutes ago, but instead I'm here once again making this video. <sighs> but it's helping me. I guess if I wouldn't have pulled out that video when I was crying 10 minutes ago, then I don't know if I actually would have finished getting ready and getting on the road. So I'm going to go grab a purse, throw on shoes, hop in the car, hopefully be like driving by 6.30. So I'm in the car. It's 6.30. Um, yeah, it says it'll take me like 27 minutes to get there, so I'll get there like right at 7. Um, I really hope parking's not going to be crazy, but I guess I should expect it to be crazy. Um, so yeah, I probably shouldn't be expecting things to go well. I should still be planning for whatever. <laughs> See, stress, stress and anxiety. Alright, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm sitting in the car crying again because I really don't want to be here. I'm like... Anxiety is through the roof. It's almost 7.30, which means it should be halfway over. I don't know if it was like a mandatory like 7 o'clock. I don't really know. I don't really care at this point. Part of me just wants to hop on a plane and go back to Colorado because I screwed up on all the opportunities that I had to like make friends out here. So now I just feel like a friendless loser in Ohio and I just want to go back west where all my friends and family are. Okay, so I'm going to try one more time to pull myself together, pay for parking, which is going to be a bitch. <laughs> Stupid other reasons, and um, hopefully I can do this. <sighs> okay, so I finally made it inside. Um, I just talked to one of the event coordinators, and she was actually really cool, really awesome. Oh, my thumb's in the way. Um, so yes, I'm here at Bogarts in Cincinnati. Um, right now I'm at the top level obviously not very well lit so if I'm up here I'll have to bring a bunch of lighting um, let me flip it okay so I just got done 
uh, checking out Bogarts for the walkthrough. Of course, everybody was super nice, super sweet. And, um, I don't know. I still was kind of like self-conscious in my head and not super open, but like I was still nice and polite and whatever. Um, I still have a lot of doubts and insecurities. I still just want to go back home to Colorado. Um, but I agreed to come out here to try to get my career going because I don't really have much to go off of anymore. So yeah, I'm trying my best to make Ohio work. But like, I'm only um, like 30% confident that Ohio is going to work out for me. I just, I just want to go home. Okay, so I just finished eating. I still need to get water. And I just smoked some weed. So I guess <laughs> after I get some water and smoke some more weed, then I'm going to get to taking pictures. Um, so my goal for the night is to get all these pictures taken. It's now... So it's now 9.30, and I want to get these three, one, two, three, taken. Um, I want to get the pictures of all them taken. There are uh, 75. Sorry, it took me, took me a while to do the math, but there's 75. So there's, oh yeah, there's like 25 in each of these. And it's actually set, so it's not just one bracelet and one necklace, blah, blah, blah. It's actually, like, a necklace, a bracelet, and another bracelet and a pair of earrings. So it's, like, four things in one. So anyways, I have to take 75 pictures tonight. And I'm going to do it. And then, um, honestly, I might pull an all-nighter. Um, yeah, I really... I need to get tickets sold for this event. That's another thing I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier is that I wanted to go to the reason why I had all these marketing, networking, networking events jam packed into a week and a half is because I need to sell tickets and I don't know that many people here. So I just put all my eggs in like a billion baskets. I guess I should have just focused on one event. Maybe that was my issue was that instead of me just focusing on one event and making it awesome, I try to like 25% here, 25% here, 25, like, no, like, it just, no, that didn't work very well for me, so, one thing at a time for now until I get my shit together, um, was I saying anything before that, oh, I don't know, <laughs> um, oh yeah, I was trying to decide if I wanted to upload them all to the website tonight and do the descriptions because that is a lot of work but I'm trying to turn this stress and anxiety into art like I'm trying to create art I'm using stress and anxiety to create art that helps other people reduce their stress and anxiety I don't know I don't know okay I need to stop stalling and just take these pictures. I give you my heart.